Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Shizukesa Gardens. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be building a large, or fairly large anyways, primate house for four different uh, primate species. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a pain. I'll just be completely honest with you, it was a huge pain. Um, and it really isn't a complicated thing at all, it's pretty simple, it's, um, it's just, it just was a, a pain <laughs> to make, I don't, I'm not even sure why, just, uh, the, I don't know if it's the design I chose, or, um, just, I probably should have broken it up and done it in a couple different settings rather than all do it at once, because it took a while, so, as you can see by the, uh, the length of the recording, it did uh, it did take me a little while to do this. It probably took me, it was over an hour for sure. I think it was closer to an hour and a half, um, which isn't the longest build that I've, I've done by any means, but it was, uh, it felt really long. <laughs> and I had a lot of issues, little issues with it, like um, uh, problems with the elevated path for the roof and uh, some difficulty finding um, exactly what species I was going to use. So like you can see right here, I have the white capuchin, white -haired capuchin on there. I don't even know why I was, I had that out to begin with because I knew that it wasn't an Asian uh, primate, but I was just like not thinking. Uh, I ended up not using it. I, I figured it out. Um, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, and I use a different monkey, but um, I had to like kind of stop and think, hmm, what other one do I want to use? Um, so it was a little bit just annoying. Um, annoying build, but at the end of the day I got it done and it, it, it looks alright I guess. Um, it's not my favorite thing in this series, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, there was actually, after this video, there should only be two, um, yeah, two videos left in the series? No, because there'll be, basically I'll only have two exhibits left. Um, there'll be the Bengal Tiger, exhibit and the um, giant panda exhibit and that's it um, but then there also will probably be a video that I do like a final walkthrough type thing so it's like three videos left in the series um, so which is good because I'm really ready to be done with this series <laughs> not that I don't like it I just I'm, I have all these new ideas and I want to move on to some new stuff so I have a new series that I'm going to be starting soon at this point actually I might have already announced it Probably not. Um, so I have a new series that I'm going to be doing, and I'm super excited for. Um, but I'm also I'm. I'll probably talk about this in a channel update at some point as well. Um, but I'm kind of wanting to get away a little bit from doing the uh, uh, freeform series. Um, I want to start doing. I might do some more challenge mode type stuff, but I also would rather just start doing more kind of one-off type videos where it's just, you know, more exhibits, like uh, exhibit speed builds, more tutorial type stuff maybe. Um, I like doing those mini videos. I might go back and do some more of those. But like right now, like having four um, uh, freeform zoos uh, at the same time is just too much for me. It's too much. I can't really, if you notice I'm like, really only focusing on like two or three at a time and then one always gets put off. I haven't uploaded any uh, of the Oasis for a while, um, at least at the time of recording this, just because I've been having to focus on the other ones, but I've recorded all of the remaining few episodes of Timeless Tundra, so that's completely done. This one's completely done, or not completely done, I mean this one's close to done. Um, Monster Menagerie still has a way to go, but that's okay. Um, the Oasis is probably about halfway done. Uh, I'm kind of putting that one off a little bit, which I don't want to because it's my favorite, without question. But um, I'm kind of just wanting to get some of the like I wanted to get Shizukase Gardens, uh, Shizukase Gardens, excuse me, and um, Timeless Tundra out of the way so I could just focus on the other ones. And then I'm probably only gonna do one freeform zoo at a time uh, because I don't really like, like I said, don't really like having a bunch going on at once. Um, I'm trying to get away from that so we'll see we'll see how many I end up um, doing for the rest of the rest of the year here and net going into next year there's really a lot of new stuff going on the channel next year um, a lot of new games I'll be playing so 
I don't know why this turned into an update video. I wasn't really intending to do that, but oh well, that's what we're talking about now, I guess. Um, yeah, so a lot of new vid games and new uh, series that I'm going to be doing um, next year once I, uh, I get a new computer. But yeah, I'm trying to get away a little bit from the freeform series. Just because like, I feel like my best work always comes either early or sporadic, you know? Like, I'll be really into one exhibit, and then I'll do a couple that was like, eh, they were fine. I didn't really... I didn't do as well as I could have, and I don't really like that. You know, I don't like looking at the finished product and thinking, you know what, I could have done that one a lot better. So, I'd rather just do um, stuff that I know I can put my best effort into. So, um, so yeah, you'll see me kind of get away from those a little bit. Uh, just doing maybe one at a time, sometimes maybe none, and just focusing on other stuff. But we'll see. We'll sort of see how I how I feel, um, and what you guys want as well. Because I mean, also at the same time, while some you know these do get really good views and um, are certainly popular, um, the exhibit CB builds still are by far the most popular, uh, generally speaking. So it does make sense for me to do more of those. And I definitely intend to do more of those. I have just been doing one to two a week uh, on the Saturdays. And I'm going to be getting away from that as well. I'm going to be doing them more than that. I don't know when I'm going to start doing that, but I know for sure that I'm going to. Um, yeah. I'll probably do like just do them sporadically through the week, you know, here and there. That's probably what I'll end up doing again. Um, I have quite a th I actually have like three. I think um, recorded as I'm <laughs> as of recording this this won't be out for a while so it doesn't really matter uh, but yeah so I have been stocking up on them a little bit because I've only since I've only been record or uploading one a week sometimes two a week it's easier for me to get several of them recorded and at first I was worried that I'd run out of like ideas and run out of animals to use but that's really not gonna happen I have so many um, so many different opportunities like uh, possibilities, you know. Plus, I'm starting to do. I'm start doing a lot more exhibits with multiple animals. Uh, and plus, I'm going to um, once I get my new computer, I'm gonna change up my mod list, um, add more mods, delete a few that I don't really use, and probably just have more in general. Cause I'll have a new computer, I'll be able to handle stuff better. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the plan with that. <laughs> so. Well, this video is a lot longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I feel like everybody really has stuff to talk about a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I haven't really talked at all about like what you're actually seeing. I guess it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, but this four exhibits in this uh, sort of ape or primate uh, house. Uh, see, that's the, there's the golden snub-nosed monkey. That's what I replaced the capuchin with. Because I realized that didn't work uh, for the theme. And then I have the orangutans uh, and a couple different gibbon species. The silvery gibbon is in the small one. The other one had, I think it was a white-handed gibbon or something like that. I don't remember what, exactly what the other gibbon species is. Whatever one comes with the base game, just redone as Radical Remake. So, yeah. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, here we are. Now we're in the tour part. This will be easier. Uh, so you, the uh, sort of walkthrough, you can see everything. So there's the gibbons over there. I forget what they're called. That particular species. Um, yeah. And then I put the water in between each uh, exhibit and the path. Just sort of the natural barrier. Technically, it doesn't make a ton of sense since there's fences. It's not really required, but I just like the look of it. Um, out of these three, I think I don't know which one. I mean, they're all okay. Like I said, I don't. This is not my favorite thing I've built. The orangutan is probably the coolest of the three. I do like the actual shape of it. I like that you know, no matter where you are in here, you can pretty much see multiple exhibits from every uh, from everywhere you stand. But it's just it's just not my favorite thing I've built. I was kind of just like by the end of it, I was just like, oh, I just want to get this done <laughs> and then move on to something else. I actually did build the tiger exhibit already, I'll tell you that much, and you'll be a little surprised when you see it. Um, it's not my best work ever, but I've, I've 
I like the way it looked, turned out, and I like the, uh, I like what I did with it. I think you guys will like it too, so. I have not done the giant pandas yet, though. Um, I definitely want to do my best with those. And that'll be the, sort of the main attraction, the, the main thing in the, uh, in the zoo. Um, that, it's not tingly, I guess it's not at the very end of the zoo, because it's not really built that way. But, uh, it's definitely the, that and the tiger is like the main thing. That's what everyone's going to probably want to see the most. That's what people have been requesting the most as well, as far as you guys. So, uh, I know that's something people want to see. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, definitely appreciate you guys watching. And, um, yeah, I will uh, see you guys all in the next one. So, thanks for watching, and talk to you later.